This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. It is time for the Wrestling Mayhem Show live from the Sorgatron Media Studios here in Beachview, neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. It is uh, 606 Tuesdays. We've been celebrating professional wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg <laughs> at Sorgatron on the Twitter, ready to get into it with my fancy new lift jacket. I've shown this off on Awesome Castle. Look at that 1K. Look at that stuff right there. This is, I feel this is the slickest I've felt in a while, guys. It's stylish. We'll get more stylish next week for Mayhemies, but in the meantime, we got a crew with us. First of all, from Pooh. No, no, wrong one. Pooh, Kipsy, New York. He is Mad Mike, the only Mayhemmer with a future endeavored letter from the WWE. Happy Rusev Day, bitches. All right. And also, <laughs> you saw a glimpse of him if you're on video. But he is back. He is uh, I'm back. He is the so internet's is the snitch. He is the internet's the Riz. The Riz Sorg at Riz Plays Games on the Twitch and the YouTubes and the uh, Plurks and the Twitters and plurks, everything else. Yes, yes Plurks especially. Oh, the Plurks and the live journals that. and the MySpaces, of course. Uh, oh, and, and, the and the and the and touts and touts. Zanga and everything in between. I don't think Zanga is what you think and, it is. And the Grinder and, 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 and all moving that stuff. same thing. Moving same on thing. From same there. It's exactly what I mean, Sorg. In, same in, handle. In the, in studio back he is larry hello hashtag girthquake hi. wow hi wow sir. <laughs> yep. still not old yeah yeah and also our special still, guest still the best nickname still the best nickname we have thank you matt light for hashtag girthquake you son of a bitch <laughs> <laughs> and, it's, better, it's better than what i've been called that is true <laughs> riz has a had some names with glasses yeah, uh, yeah, yeah wow um that was I probably believe, that was RJ City, wasn't it? Or Dalton Castle? That was Castle? RJ City. Yes. Okay. So, no, that was just RJ City. No, no, yeah, RJ yeah, would have been the meaner yeah. of the two, but both of them were pretty um, rough on you. Both of them called me Rizzo from uh, Greece. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else have I been called per wrestling? We'll work on um, that. But in the meantime, oh, yeah. uh, this guy's called our guest tonight. He is David Fedor. He is comedian, referee, and a uh, good friend of Yinza, the, the, the Pittsburgh Luchador. Luchador. Thank you. This is my first Cloverfield podcast, so I'm very excited <laughs> to be here. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, we got pretty deep on gold. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, so we'll tell, tell the people what, you know... You referee, of course, with KSWA. Right. Uh, you, what are you doing in comedy and everything? Um, sure. Uh, I've been with uh, Keystone State Wrestling Alliance for a few years now, um, the head referee. So right now I'm focused a lot of behind-the-scenes work, mm -hmm. training with uh, the other referees, and um, you know, taking care of all, all, all the close calls, all the counting, all the slapping of hands, things like that. Uh, I also do comedy. I have uh, a couple side projects with uh, some videos. I eat lunch in my car. A lot of people love watching it for some it reason. Is a, it's got to be the best lunch eating video series on the internet today. Yeah, check it out. It's called Watch Me Eat My Lunch. Very creative titles I work with. Um, so, yeah. I'm intrigued. It's it's. <laughs> It's pretty pretty cool from what I hear. Yeah. I, I think that's right up our alley here on this show. You to caught be my honest. attention with the uh, Taco Bell fries. The Taco Bell, and it brought me out. I haven't done one of my lunch things in almost a full year, just yeah. because I was getting sick. I was like eating all the RB sliders in one sitting, like six of them, and oh. and they were oh. like I was eating all the like the Whopperito where they had the Whopper inside the burrito thing for a little bit, and it was the grossest, mm. most disgusting that, thing. That sounds like your heart attack waiting there. Yeah, yeah. So I, I quit quit the series for a while, but the the nacho fries brought me out, and uh, that's up last week, and uh, nice. it's pretty fun. They're they're not very good either, by the way. It's yeah. all <laughs> crap food. If it costs a dollar, you're not supposed to eat it. That, that, that's true. That's true. A garbage in, garbage out, and yeah, dollar. Oof. Too many times. Too yeah. many times. 
Uh, but anyways, I, 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 and we'll get into all of our discussion, of course. But first, please go check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Email us at that email address. Good times. Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. So enthusiastic. Thank you, Larry. I, I'm trying. <laughs> 412-206-WMS0 at Mayhem Show on the Twitter Facebook Wrestling Mayhem Show. Please join us in our Wrestling Mayhem Show group. Subscribe to the Wrestling Mayhem Show and the super feed over on your iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, Google Play podcasts, as well as video versions on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook and YouTube page. And of course, we stream here every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on the Facebook page for Wrestling Mayhem Show. And also keep an eye on IndieWrestling.us's Facebook. Uh, that's where we've been streaming the Indie Mayhem Show interviews. We actually just talked with J-Rock this afternoon. That's going to be going up in the streams uh, uh, in a day or two. Uh, we talked about this weekend's CKCW iPay-Per-View on Fight TV with Eric Bischoff and uh, some stuff coming up with him, uh, some recent experience he's had with Ring of Honor and WWE appearances. Uh, and a lot of other fun stuff, uh, too. So a little look at the Cleveland scene uh, as well. Uh, hey, so, hey, Sorg, Sorg, quick question about J-Rock. Did, um, yes? Did, did, he, did he give it up one time? Uh, no, yeah. you're, no, no, you're supposed to give it up one time. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, I, was it's, sure. it's, 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 I was just so, making sure. He can't, he, he's getting it one time. Okay. okay. You have okay. to give it one time. Okay, okay. I, I'm glad that, we narrowed down the science of J-Rock. Oh, I've been I've I've been going to IWC for way too long. <laughs> oh. oh, hashtag support indie wrestling. But anyways, uh, and some of our WA too. Also, please support us at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. You guys are literally helping us keep the lights on, like our friends at the fan of the show, one dollar level. Boo diggity! Woo! Ed Burke and Bobby F. J. Town, as well as the Pocky Club, five dollar level. They've been getting the gold and the apparently the uh the uh, our pilot edition of the Cloverfield podcast um, and some talk about Mad Mike as an action figure from our friends uh, Occupy Pro Wrestling, Power to the Smarks on the Twitter, as well as Christopher Bishop. And at our $10 Pizza Club letter, he gets, well, at the time, since he's the only, only one, I just give him personalized state of the shows, but uh, eventually we'll just kind of give them to everybody uh, at the $10 level. Billy Effin Johnson, our friend from uh, West Virginia there. Uh, again, you guys can support us at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. A lot of ways and a lot of perks in there, including the manager level that uh, can give you guys a bit more, including a uh, 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 special uh, downloads from our partner you know, you know, at Indie Wrestling You know, so uh, Billy can say anything he wants now, and 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 he's the only one who knows if it's true or not. What What do you mean? Like he gets he gets to hear you give him the state of the mayhem show. Wait, wait, are you saying that he has so, the backstage so, 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 information and he can start he, a dirt sheet, a podcast dirt sheet based on our information we're start, giving him? He can now start a WCW hotline esque. He's going to start the right WMS now. hotline. Yes. Well, I mean, other than our own WMS hotline, but the WMS hotline hotline. Just like Shikara. Wait, seriously? Yes. Oh, that's amazing. Uh <laughs> I called it once, and it's weird because um, Quackenbush answers the phone. <laughs> wait, wait. Like, it's, it's, like he, he picks it up like he's answering like like, like hello yeah like yeah okay like it's an automated it's it's obviously automated but it's it's very like realistic i wish i can show you right now but is, is it as much during... fun is it as much fun as the number that they put on lucha underground for you to call <laughs> yes we should just put slice on broadway's Maybe. phone number on there just so it's the wrestling mayhem show hotline. Just, by, by the way so that number on lucha is four two three Get fame. God, I miss famous B. Yes, it was. Yes. Uh, anyways, speaking of things to talk about, actually, Billy suggested us talking about something today, and I think we'll start off with it. There's a little bit of a controversy. I don't like to get it too much into the dirt, mm. but it's interesting. It was very obvious that uh, Raw last week, uh, they were celebrating the return of Jonathan Coachman, of course. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you do our yeah. five video read in? A what? Our 405 Media. Oh, thank you to our streaming partners, 405media.com, yeah. carrying us on midnight Eastern Time, 9 p.m. Specific Time. You can specific, you can doze do, doze off specifically Pacific specific time. time. Specifically Pacific Time. You can doze off to the mayhem sounds uh, as well. Sorry, I, I skipped that one for some reason. All the colors, all the colors in my notes right now. Uh, but anyways, 
Uh, but no, they, they, yeah, there's a little bit, you know, we're talking about John and Col- Coachman um, uh, came back. And I don't think we addressed it too much here on the show. We had a lot going on with Royal Rumble and, and, and TakeOver and everything. Um, and it was like, okay, you know, they're mixing it up a little bit. You know, Booker T's not going anywhere except for the kickoff shows. That's cool. But it turns out Booker T's not happy. It turns out Booker T had a rant um, on, uh, I forget what the podcast was. Uh, but uh, basically calling out and said he wanted to fight Corey Graves. He would fight Corey Graves if he met him outside of work. Did, did it start with, what the hell? I, I, I don't that's know. All of them. I don't know. But okay. apparently, I guess Corey Graves, supposedly a part of his uh, removal from the Raw announced team. Um, I um, can, can, can I say thank you, Corey? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank that's you, good. sir. That, that, that gives me applause, too. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we're, we're, we're pretty okay with that part. And it, 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 Booker it, 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 T. It, Booker T didn't watch the product he was commenting on. No, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He sucked. I he find him horrible. enjoyable. Like, I find him enjoyable. I, I thought he. I thought he was good. I, 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 I appreciated him. I mean, yeah. JBL also would rant unintelligibly on 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 SmackDown as well. I was kind of happy JBL when he left. Was also. Horrible too. But, but, what was that? Was that Larry? Uh, well, I was going to say I was happy when he left. Also, I was also happy when he left because I was kind of getting tired <laughs> yeah. of it. Um, yeah. These are nice. Yeah, I, but- I, I think your JBLs and your Booker T's are nice in shorter stints, like. Give them six months, and we need to roll that position over. Yeah, right. Well, because the, here's the, the, the thing that here's I liked the about between go ahead, sorry, go ahead, David. I was going to say the thing I liked about Booker T is when he would say something that wasn't jiving with whatever was going on in the screen. There was kind of like that silent kind of like, how do we react to this? Uh, <laughs> it was it was, mm-hmm. and and it would usually be Corey saying something. To poke fun at him, or yeah. keep, or keep bringing yeah, it out that's... until they fought, and and whereas years ago when Michael Cole had the character of evil announcer, and that was kind of awkward and grating, this was kind of fun in the whole. We're not scripting over scripting announcers anymore. We're kind of letting them do stuff, and to me, I like it was always that part was always enjoyable to me. Mm-hmm. I, I, I love oh, when, yeah. I love when I, I think rumble, I saw this again and I've, I've mentioned this multiple times with, with you, Mad Mike. Like I like when the announcers feel like they're having fun. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Like Corey insulting Booker is great, but that should not be what's happening on commentary. No. Like the commentary is there to serve the fans for telling the story, not for Corey to constantly correct Booker T when he's saying stupid shit. I want I want to correct that a little bit. The commentary should be there for serving the story in the ring, <coughs> right? Yeah. So yeah, that's what I mean. And to combat that air. Okay. Yeah, and and selling the next show and selling the pay per views and yeah. so there's yeah. a lot of things those commentators yeah. have to do and. If eighty five percent of that is on point, and we get a couple fifteen percent of ad libs and and fun uh, one liners at each other, I'm I'm all for that. I don't I feel think like it's entertaining and fun. I don't feel like Booker had a lot of responsibilities like in that department of like bringing stuff up, though. You know, I think he was there strictly just to give his um, like veteran take on yeah, what was going yeah, on. Yeah, he's the, the color on it. Yeah, exactly. he he yeah. wasn't he wasn't there to like. Uh, <laughs> pitch the next pay-per-view and all right that and and he never did and we already have so, so yeah. when he's not when he's not like properly talk like explaining what's going on in the ring that's just making him look even worse the, so the, there's <laughs> three of them one can't be the guy who no, says funny like, stuff or well they can up. all say funny stuff but he, he was getting to the point where he was just looking incompetent so yeah, yeah like, he's like the fun we, and competent guy. When we who do podcasts, he's a five-time world heavyweight champion about... and a hall of famer, though he shouldn't be incompetent. <laughs> yeah, when, when when guys who do podcasting like us are more accurate about what's going on on Raw than Booker T is, he needs to go. I I, I, I think I see where Dave was coming from. Like like he served a purpose. It was kind of the comedy relief in the long right. the long run, right? Yeah, it but was, he it wasn't was enjo- intending to be. If he How was intending to be, that'd be a different story altogether. How do you know if he was intending to be? Or you if- can tell he wasn't intending to be. Because he would get angry and he would stop talking for about ten minutes after Corey Graves would really shut him down. <laughs> if, like, if, like if- when Vampiro and Matt Stryker do that gimmick, they are intending to do that. 
Uh, no, 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 no. I know. I think. I think. I think Vampiro definitely goes off the rails, and Matt just entertains it a little better than the team does with Booker. Like, because Vampiro would go on some weird tangents, and and remember, like Stryker talked about, like how, like he had a promise that he would not edit him. Yeah, but Vampiro is also a dark master who strings up Pentagon Junior from the ceiling, so it's kind of within his character. Yeah, Booker T is supposed to be. You know, a veteran presence on the announce team, and now they don't need that because guess what? Corey Graves is that too. I'll, I'll give David uh, David a point here. Uh, you you yeah. got something you want to say? I, I was going to say if Booker T was comfortable and embraced that role of which he was falling into, mm-hmm. that would be one thing. If he's wants to be a straight uh, and and serious veteran, then of course you know take him off of that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if 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 that's the case. But he could have easily slid into that comedy role. Bobby Heenan would say the most absurd, crazy, funny, out of left field stuff. And nobody ever questioned his intelligence or thought that he didn't know or he was a wrestler and a manager for decades. He was also being silly and funny and 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 intentionally flubbing on air. He he would basically say the exact opposite of what was happening in the ring. Not say something that had no nothing to do. It wasn't even like it was the exact opposite of what was happening. It had nothing to do with what was happening. And, and it, at here's, all. here's a point from this that maybe we're not thinking about. Maybe whatever Booker T was doing um, made a certain person laugh whose opinion did matter. <laughs> if you, no matter what we thought of it, and that's why it stuck around for this long. Now I don't know what is. I, I missed like the point of what why he was accusing Corey of his job going away. But you know, and maybe because Corey made him look like an idiot. Yeah, he, he kept on poking him and saying that's not what that is. Right, right. And he right. got angry that he got told that's not what it is live on air, where mm. millions of people can see that he did the job wrong. Right, right. So and he couldn't take it. So yeah, like like every Jason Jordan match. Corey would say, okay, let's see what Booker thinks of Jason Jordan this week because he would yes. constantly change that was all true. the time. That it is true. He would have two I different he would, he would have two different imp- opinions about a match in the same match. <laughs> that yeah, that yeah. did happen a lot. Yeah. And that was called out a lot. So I maybe maybe he just kind of dug his own hole and then he just blames Corey Graves for it. So who knows? I bet I bet Corey was told to zing him. Like like they were probably tired of producing him and they were like, Hey, listen, if Booker says something that's idiotic and you know, it doesn't gel with what we're trying to sell, just zing Booker on it because then I he'll think, shut up afterwards. I think, I think Michael Cole, uh, put an announcer hit out on a uh, Booker via Corey Graves <laughs> because like, who really runs that commentary show is Cole, right? Vince. He is the old uh, Vince in the long run, but Vince. other under out of outside of Vince, who knows how to work around Vince? Who knows how to do that more than <laughs> no. like Michael Cole is the old mob boss of the commentary teams, right? That, that's Michael funny. Cole's a war correspondent. Damn it! Damn it! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so Plus it adds credibility and to I think the a other two. Bit has to go with the maybe just t- tiny bit of that went with Booker T pushing Michael Cole out of the way. What? Maybe just a smidge when 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 uh, Braun Strowman caught him. Oh, <laughs> it's like a Titus Vince incident, you think? Well, yeah, like like when Booker T pushed Michael Cole out of the way. Yeah, and that's when it just started hitting. Like when the shit hit the fan. That's when it went it? south. You know, Corey did. Um, I think he was on Edge and Christian recently as well. Yeah. Um, and and they they brought up the Booker stuff on he there. Put too. him over. Yeah, he put him over, but he, you know, in the same you know minute. Of course, you know, kind of being like, I don't know what the hell he says half the time either. Yeah. But Booker's great, you know. So it, it was, but I mean, it was brought up, and you know, we it could be interesting, I guess. But um, I this conversation conversation has uh, um, inspired my Mayhem Mania pick though for tonight. Oh, I can't wait! I can't wait to see what that's going to be. And and the proprietor of Mayhem Mania has just entered the building. Just want to announce that right now. He'll be joining us here in the second half. Uh, oh so man, mainstream Stop Matt is here. Hurt. Should we call him Mayhem Matt for Mayhem, Ma- Mayhem? Mayhem Matt Mania? Mayhem Matt. Mayhem Mania Matt? 
maybe. No, he's mainstream. He's mainstream. He's mainstream. I mean, he's already yeah. mainstream. So, oh, uh, oh where's that? There it is. Mainstream. He's already mainstream. So, I should have got him when he was outside. I forgot I have that window shot still set up. But, anyways, oh, look at you. Look at you with the branding tonight. You got to represent the home team. Is that on? We're on a half hour early tomorrow. <laughs> You're on an hour, a We're half on hour 4 a.m. tomorrow. Because of snow? Yeah. yeah. Oh, geez. Everybody watch KDK. Hey, I, mean, that, that I didn't bring up on here. KDKA got a shout out on that XFL call. Yeah. Yeah. You had some representation <laughs> yep. over there. Shumway, what? Right? Yeah, oh, Shumway. Yeah. Shumway yeah. was on the XFL call. You, uh, sorry, Matt doesn't have a camera uh, just yet. Oh, but, man. Uh, I, and I'm like, he's dropping right into the podcast. Yeah, because you, t- you did you text me about it? I did text you about it. I think and you're, I'm you're like, probably you're, sleeping. You're like, but... you're like, blah, blah, blah on the XFL call asking about I'm like, what? Who is on the XFL? That's my gig. <laughs> what are they doing talking to them? Yeah, what are you doing? You can't allow to talk to Vince. Vince is mine. Oh no. Sadly. <laughs> there, there we go. We kind of got here's our mainstream Mac cam. I, actually I like this shot better because now we should use this shot, this wide shot more, because when we have like eight people piled up over here on this side of the desk <laughs> and we're ex- like passing the mic and you're just watching me go. That's exactly what this shot's for, right? Yeah, it's usually yeah. a little little there you go. <laughs> I, get you over I the, love it. Over the monitor there. We need to get producer bit. Missy in here so we can oh, give her no, her props, she's, her she's proper usually, credit. All right, she's gonna be in there. Just kind of peeking. Yeah. yeah. She's, she's good. She's, she's good. Take, take close. All right. That's right. I gotta go prepare my pizza box lid. Promise. Oh, you've been cut <laughs> off. They would have a sharpie. And it's perfect because sharpie. it's perfect because right now it's time to give a shout out to our friends. Sharpie. What are you doing? I can't like cross stuff out though. Yes, okay. you can. Yeah, it's not as fun and perfect. I, I gotta talk to you, your producer. Okay, okay all right, right all right. Deal with that. But anyways, I, I, does anybody have a pizza box? The no, official, no. the official pizza, pizza box home version of the Mayhem Mania. Uh, <laughs> Sponsors <laughs> Slice on Broadway supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza for a good long time now. Right here up the streets, here in Beachview, as well as Carnegie PA uh, down on Main Street, PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, as well as a new location over in East Liberty. Uh, uh, run in, say hi, let them know the mayhem sent you. Please don't kick the door down. Please, please don't kick the door down. Uh, kick it in, though. No, 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 no. No, don't kick it in. No, don't kick it, it in. It, 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 it opens out. So oh, yeah, you're, don't, it's, don't it's a long it way. Don't I mean, if door. you want to forcefully but gently in the right part of the door, put, put your foot and put a push into it, and that will be great because you're going to have a handful of pizza. Just nudge it a little. Yeah, just give it the nudge. Glass. Yeah, it's yeah, also glass. Riz, you've been at the new location. I have been at a new location. If you see me at the new location, say hi. Mm. We've had speculation last week that the that it does taste a little different at each slice and Broadway. I think we can blame the water for that, right? Oh, city water, yeah. Yeah, that's the difference. Oh, that's the one with the lead. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, they don't have lead. No, no I'm sure that eat their I'm pizza. sure slice fillers out they, the lead. There's no they lead in their pizza. There's proper proper <laughs> etiquette. Wait a minute. This you is a professional can ask for extra lead though. No, no, no. Wait. No, no, this is going can't. south. Which neighborhood are we talking about again? <laughs> East, East Liberty. Liberty. And they're the ones with lead in their water? Like, probably. Yeah. yeah. We, yeah. We have, yeah. We've what? had... Yeah, but I think we're the only... I think we're the only three. neighbors... If you cross a river, it's the lead zone in this town. Wow. Car- wow. wow. Car- wow. Car- Carnegie and Beachview have uh, Pennsylvania American water. Yeah, we're, we're safe. I think their we're water's good. clean. We're good. Okay, because, you know... East Liberty has everything else that's nice and new and shiny. I figured that no, they would have no. nice Well, they didn't fix everything. Really? Nice and new and shiny water filters. This is a different in... podcast. For that information, go check out our friends at Public Source. I'll be streaming with them. Actually, I'll be streaming with them from the PWSA headquarters tomorrow morning. So I'll Good ask job, them sir. how if how it affects pizza. All right. Anyways, <laughs> there's some other big changes being made last week. It was all about new hires and new voices of certain parts of the company as 205 Live has a a new commissioner and a new uh, mission with uh, Drake Maverick, um, who I think was a character and I still Ooh. think is a character on DuckTales. Uh, the, former, <laughs> the former rock star Spud joined us. And is he not the perfect GM for this job? He, he's great. DM he's, the GM. Great. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have Tazawa. Very sad Tazawa. <laughs> there was a picture last night. Apparently, Rockstar Spud got on his plane. Tazawa's behind him. And uh, he made a comment. Uh, he, it was an Instagram of of uh, um, um, one of my employees is on the plane very awkwardly. I heard he was gutting for my job. <laughs> 
<laughs> with sad Tazawa in the plane behind him. Oh, so nice. I I I miss badass Tazawa, but I love sad. I should have been GM Tazawa. So uh, you th- know, it, it's almost it's almost like Tazawa should have been part of some kind of um group or had a leader, maybe an LLC or something like that that could have petition for him to get the 205 live job maybe it's something maybe something that works around the world i'm, I'm not what, what's another global. word for that what's global worldwide mm-hmm. what happened yeah. to that yeah apparently this is slacking budget this is slacking budget yeah, cuts because budget cuts they hired that statistician the statistician's expensive man yeah yeah that, no, that's a fair point that's a fair <laughs> point but, but uh, Mike and, and and Larry, we you know talking about two hundred five live a good bit between the podcast and and everything. Um, this is I kind of like the return to cruiserweight classic style tournament happening, right? You're shaking your head. Yeah. Dave. Oh, th- that's the biggest thing I took from yesterday's uh, Raw when Drake Maverick was on commentary. He talked about he even addressed that two hundred five live isn't living up to the hype of the cruiserweight classic. Um, so when Things like that are addressed. That means, you know, people back behind the scenes know what they're doing. They they could feel and hear and see the reactions and know that changes need to be made. Um, so that was the big thing. And and then that made me pay attention to the tag. Because having the cruiserweights on for one segment on Raw with, you know, a six-man tag or an eight-man tag, you're, you're just not getting the same type of dedication to the characters, to the wrestlers, to the matches that... The tournament did tournament introduced each individual you know you followed them you knew their story you knew their plight uh i don't watch 205 live as regularly as i should to have any more in-depth conversations about this topic but i know that if it was more like the cruiserweight classic i would watch mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i do feel bad for cedric alexander though yeah i don't know cedric were... went through a tournament on raw <laughs> to get a shot at the cruiserweight title only to say hey guess what now you have to go through yet another tournament that's going to last, oh, what's this? Two months longer. Yeah, but now he has the chance to win the Cruiserweight title at WrestleMania. So that seems like a On fair the pre show. On the pre show. At Still WrestleMania. WrestleMania. Oh, but we'll, we'll, <laughs> we're going to save whether. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We're going to save our pre-show, whether the pre-show is still WrestleMania conversation for another month and a half later, okay? Well, it depends on but if it's in the on the DVD or it, Blu-ray yeah, you know, yeah, as yeah, to sure whether or not it's, that's true it's too. never on the DVD. I bet it'll be on the network. <laughs> Could be on USA Network. Yep, mm-hmm. on a different box on the network. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, anyways. <laughs> Other than that conversation, no, I like that, and I like that they, you know, we had the 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 uh, 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 Tyler Bate, you know, the first UK champions part. Roderick Strong is going to be part yeah. of this week's yeah, uh, episode. That's exciting. That's like I love that they're mixing it up and they're bringing in other people. It's not just like you know, same ten guys. Yeah. Um, you know, we're getting different matchups, and and we're having just let's do a good match. You know, one of these the surprise hour. guys has to win though. Yes, I, I think one of them has to win to yes. at least advance like one or two. Win a rounds. match, okay, okay. One, one or two, one or two okay. rounds, not not all the way, mm-hmm. but like if that's they probably bring, gonna be Cedric. Yeah, if like they if they bring in like um Mysterio, he's yeah. No, he, I, I don't Arcana? think I, that would that would, that would put two hundred five live and that whole division on the map by bringing yeah. in Mysterio. I think that's a good having idea. him that's and true. him and Cedric Alexander at Mania or Neville. Mm-hmm. Or Neville. If Neville came A back. Neville comeback would be Neville. great. There was a tease of a surprise maybe this week, wasn't there? With by Drake? No, no. No. This week this week the matches are set. Okay. It's Kalisto and uh, Kitty Cat Man. <laughs> let's say and Dorado. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, let's, okay. say, let's say Dorado. <laughs> Play Sorry. Dorado. Sorry, I affectionately call him Kitty Cat Man. He apparently knows of this and is okay with it. Yes, uh, he has re- also something about him coming out on a battle cat. Or no, he yes. com- no he comes out riding Braun Strowman like Battle Cat. Like he completely yes. liked that tweet. So although I'm pretty sure that's actually Alexa Bliss now. <laughs> yeah. But, okay, let's get to that in a moment. But. Shira and Battle Cat. We'll get to that. Yeah. You know. Uh, um, and there was a correction. Thank you, Dave Potter, for dropping the Disney knowledge for me. Drake Mallard mm-hmm. is the not so mild mannered alter ego of Saint Canard's resident superhero. Darkwing Duck ah, uh, oh. is where it is, which is technically a spinoff of DuckTales. So I wasn't. When too there's far trouble, off. you call DW. If Rockstar Spud turns into his alter ego superhero, I will lose my shit. That would be amazing. <laughs> if it's Darkwing Spud, 
No, <laughs> rock star. Oh, oh. <laughs> God, Sorg. Sorg. I'm okay with the, I'm okay with there being another hurricane. Like, I, I I'd be all right with that. There was a sad tweet. There was a picture of Hurricane with Roman Reigns and saying about how he remembers Rosie. Yeah. Last oh. week. Yeah. 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 So that was. I'm like, why is he hanging with Rowan Reigns? And it, it like kind of came together <coughs> with it. So. Yeah. No yeah. Bring way, to, way to bring the room down. Let's bring sword. up. Okay. That's let's sword. bring it back, back around with the cutest couple in WWE right now. That, of course, is Braun Strowman and Alexa Bliss. That's fun, huh? <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. Unexpected? Who would have thought that? I, I and now I look at every pairing that we've been presented with as like, are we just going to play relationship match game with like a like more of these like? Gold, are, are gold? You're, you're shipping all of the mi- mixed match challenges. Is that what you're oh, saying? Oh, I, you're I ship Braun Alexa hard. <laughs> I'm shipping them super hard. Hashtag Mother of Strowman's Roll Thirty Four. <laughs> what? Whoop. Roll Thirty Four. I don't think that applies here. I don't, I'm not what's, familiar. What's rule yeah. 34, Riz? Oh, whatever whatever you think of, somebody already thought of it and has fan art of it. Okay. I bet the fan art went okay. into overdrive since Mixed Mac Challenge started. Yeah, well, yeah. well the, the, you, you were talking about these pairings, and mm-hmm. to me, the best thing that's coming out of here is the the creativity and the freedom that we see f- with these backstage segments. I don't know if you talked about yeah. this last week or anything, mm-hmm. oh, but, but like when gold dust and Alicia Fox were shown as a pair while gold dust was painting his face, it was a 45 second behind the scenes thing. And that got me more interested in gold dust character and Alicia Fox character more than anything for two years on mm-hmm. raw. Mm-hmm. And now they're starting to bleed in with these new vignettes backstage with the first person I'm going to hold do a selfie promo mm-hmm. where they're looking directly into the camera and, um, and, and they're so fresh and, and so much better um, that I'm really digging like, I don't think <clears throat> I've seen one of the mixed match challenges. I, I don't know what Facebook watch is. Um, it ends up on the network anyway, so yeah. You, so you yeah, watch. so I've been I've been seeing them on the tweets and and mm-hmm. and things like that. Um, but if if it's injecting this new fun creative backstage feel to the show, it's it's better it's better than any development and different graphics than. Um, so and somebody I think it might have been Dave uh, Potter in there was saying um, the, the 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 issue is the text on the graphics. I feel right like before. does it feel like they're making it feel like they are making these videos for Facebook, right. right? For that small screen experience, and then we're just making oversized text. I don't know if they're just kind of like this is what the kids are doing, so this is the what we're bringing over. Oh, you know? like as they're talking and it's popping yeah, like up? that kind of stuff. Yeah. I thought you meant like the bold letters beforehand. It says John Cena. That too, and then it cuts to the thing. That too, that too. Like, how did we roll back our production on this part? And also, like the idea, like in my mind, like these guys are given, like you know, uh, you know, typically, you know, they would get, hey, we need a promo of this. Braun doing this backstage, this happening, Alexa doing this interview, and they get all those in the can before Raw, right? Yeah. I feel like there's a list of like things we want, people involved in things, and there's also like, hey, if you have something you want to contribute, um, here's the Dropbox address, <laughs> and we'll go through it before the show and give it to the truck. You know, and it's yeah. all like everybody. Obviously, all these guys have at least, you know, within the last year iPhone because they're traveling, they're going to, right? Um, and they have wrestler money and, and, and can do all that. Uh, so, so it's somebody just kind of turned around and says, wait, the phones are good enough. Let's just do this. NXT started with that. There were promos Tyler that were Breeze. definitely the Tyler Breeze thing. The, the, uh, Enzo and Cass. Who? Uh, meeting Carmella. Cass and thing. <laughs> the, 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 you know, the introduction of Carmella. The Cass, the Cass <laughs> and his mysterious tag team partner meeting Carmella and when they, when they, uh, uh, dumped the hair dog gel. Shampoo. The dog shampoo. Yeah, the dog shampoo and lost all the dog hair. Uh, like that was obviously a cell phone, mm-hmm. right? The street profits. Um, you know, it's stuff like that. So now that's bleeding over. It's all this selfie stuff and, and it's a lot of fun. Also, but you know, do you know ahead. what it is, Sorg? It, it kind of harkens back to the attitude era because you can tell that a writer didn't script these. Yes, you can tell that it's these that it's the actual people who know their characters 
and they just are having fun with it. Like Braun said his shirt will make Alexa 30% stronger. And try yeah. to get her to flip a car. And actually they describe here no. Car. No, you have to get here because this is the fulcrum of the car. <laughs> like like Braun saying that is amazing. Well, so, so now when you go and, from and that even during, it even during doing it during the match. Like yeah, yeah. when because like what the, what WWE has been doing too is they've been releasing what's called mic'd up. Yeah. So you can hear the audio of the guys talking to each other during the matches. And there was one point last week where Sammy got destroyed by Braun, quickly tagged out. Becky Lynch was like, Sammy, are you okay? And he's like, I need a minute. I need a minute. Two minutes. <laughs> Three minutes. I need three minutes. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen those. Yeah, they put they put the little subtitles at the bottom of everything. Like, it's really neat. Yeah, it's all in character. It's fucking perfect. Uh, I like, was going to say it's the, the best thing. It, it, go ahead, go ahead David. If, if we're Sorry. taking these fun things where the the wrestlers could be more creative themselves and bring more of themselves into it, and then we go back to a backstage segment that's written word for word, and they have to recite verbatim, and Braun has to go out there and lift his hands and go, roar. does that then hurt the scripted stuff because it looks even more canned? Yeah. Absolutely. I think it does. I think and it hopefully, does well. hopefully it gets them to actually move away from that a little bit. I also think we're kind of creating more Rusev Day situations. Um, as in accidental guy, things getting over, yeah, accidental or trying. I, mean, I want to say Get accidental trying things, not a thing a guy wrote, mm-hmm. right? Like, first of all, like, I, I, like, yeah, like Braun Strowman saying, Get these hands. Oh my oh, god, yeah. that I love that catchphrase. That like, it just so came funny. out of nowhere, like, and then now he has a shirt that says it, it, it. It's like Everybody Suplex City, it. Suplex City, Austin 316. Yeah. It's yeah, all, yeah, yeah. and that's where the magic happens. And there's so much of that, right? Um, basically, the less Vince McMahon watches, the more it's probably going to get over. Because I yeah. guarantee he doesn't watch Mixed Match Challenge. What did I say when they when they did the um the the did they, they they did the uh, GoFundMe bit when he was on for Raw twenty five. I was like, yeah, yeah he had no idea they, what that joke they was. explained to him that day what what GoFundMe was. <laughs> my, Obviously, no, they didn't, they didn't explain anything to him. <laughs> my my only no, problem, they, they probably just said it. That's why he was confused, Larry. My only problem with the mix match challenge is it's killing all the heels. Yes, yeah. so it, you, <laughs> you love likeable. everybody. You love like, everybody. You got the. I don't you got the. Think that's necessarily true. You got the Miz teaming with Oscar, and they're both doing Daniel Bryan kicks, and <laughs> it was funny as hell. You shouldn't be laughing at something the Miz is doing to win. <laughs> you should hate him for cheating. No, like, why not? no, no, that's no, no, his no, no, no. Though. Right, uh, but you should be boo- you should be booing him for it, not cheering. But cheering, but him, him being it. on Total Divas isn't killing his. I've heel. never watched that. I don't know. That doesn't. He's exist to me. ridiculously likable. I and, don't think that's true. And totally out of character on the show. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. like his uh, Maurice is pregnant now, so he's like super supportive and caring, and uh, and if. If he's on mixed match or on that, it do, it doesn't and matter. Same with the photo shoot where he's explaining all the stuff going on, especially even the Daniel Bryan like talking smack incident and things like right. that. I mean, we yeah. have so many kayfabe breaking things and, on that. And plus, this could lead to like someone who speaks Japanese mm. actually telling Oscar what Miz is saying, and then she kicks him in the head, and that's how their their team loses. Mm-hmm. Oh, that'd, like that'd be Nakamura, okay. like they could end up against Nakamura and Natty. And Nakamura could have a conversation of Asuka like, hey, this is what he's really saying. He's saying that he taught you everything he knows, and that's why you guys are winning. And she looks at him. He gives a big cheesy thumbs up. She kicks his head off. Kinshasa, and that's how they lose. Hopefully it's the first time that we've had Japanese subtitles live on a program so we can know what's going on. You know, but or at least have the kind Thai guy. Yeah, uh, oh, Matt. Yeah, Matt I, know, I know they're out, but they can be good. Matt, Matt, Matt is back from uh, Mayhem Mania prep. Uh, you had something to say? Oh, well, let me turn your mic on. There you go. Two things. First of all, if the reason for them creatively deciding that Asuka can't speak English is to pay it off in two months on the mixed match freaking <laughs> challenge, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then. I take back every bad thing I've ever said about WWE creative. I guess they they guess they do know what they're doing. Or maybe that means we should be even more critical. 
Um, also, I, I totally agree with Larry. There's oh, no, my God, what just happened there? <laughs> I know what happened. God, God damn, long legs. All right. Um, Share troubles. <laughs> I got problems. All right. You know what? When Elias is doing something likable in the promos for the Mixed Match Challenge, he was nice to Bailey. Yeah. All right. Everyone's mean to Bailey, Sorg. Even Alexa Bliss is mean to Bailey. Even Sasha Banks is mean to Bailey. That's and she's a best, face. That's her best friend. That's her best friend. And Elias is nice to Bailey. He's going to give her a tip for playing guitar. But that was an amazing skit, too. My, everyone else has seen that one, right? Yeah. Like, Elias yeah. is like yeah, yeah. like 90% of the promo, he's like the biggest, you know, he's typical Elias a hole. And at the very end, before he walks out of frame, he just kind of like swoops back in and fixes her hand on the. On the neck of the guitar and walks away and it's like, Gling. but again, Elias is that guy. I think it was, we were talking about on uh, last night on wrap up. Elias, that guy is that guy that he came out last night and he does this every week. He came out last night and and had the everybody is completely chanting with him, saying his catchphrase with him, and then equally swinging and booing him by the end when he gets to the song that bashes up. I, I I said he nobody else on that level can swing a crowd that that hot either way except for vince mcmahon <clears throat> mm-hmm. yeah but he wasn't and, doing that in the mix match challenge if he was ending with being a dick that'd be fine no i'm just saying i know and i'm just going going on on how great your life oh, is okay yes yeah, he's just, amazing no no, no this is amazing. a whole different conversation <laughs> yeah but yeah, but but but, 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 but it's game, also even. that heels you know likable heels thing too we love to see Elias until it's like, all right, he's the heel. I mean, it's like Vince. You cheer Vince every come every time he comes out because it's like, oh, it's Vince McMahon until he turns and shows you which Vince he's going to be, and then the crowd plays it wrong. Like we're all in on it, right? And, yeah, and like, I think like the, the guys they chose for mixed match challenge, the heels, they're not all. Tr- none of them are true heels. Mm-hmm. Like Miz is a Jimmy true Uso, heel, not right? a true heel. Miz not a true heel. <laughs> Elias not a true heel. Carmella, not a true heel because they all do things that are truthful and likable. Now, if they threw Bray Wyatt on there, different story. If they threw one of the Bludgeon Brothers on there, that's a different story. Mm-hmm. They had but, Samoa Joe booked to be Bailey's teammate. Really? Yeah. Samoa Joe's up there Originally, too. before he I, got injured. Oh, I wish I would have seen like before he got injured. Him mm-hmm. trying to get hugged. You know, I mean, <laughs> you know what? I bet he would have turned. Yeah. Yeah, Joe definitely would have turned in a backstage with Bailey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He would have. There smiled. are no true heels. By no, the way. no, no, probably not. Uh, Except for the Bludgeon Brothers, I think they're still heels. It's That's not the Bludgeon. It's not the Bludgeon Brothers. It's whoever made their costume. That too. And and Larry like, would know. <laughs> Larry just has an Son aesthetic problem with the Bludgeon Brothers. All right, we got so much to do here in the second half. We got the Mayhem Mania. We got the big question. Oh, geez, I didn't even give you guys time to, to campaign for Mayhemies. Mayhemies is on. Oh, yeah. It is uh, brought to you by, first of all, you need to you need to check out, brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. It is the, oh, God, what did we call it there? <laughs> the, 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 Are you referring to the 2017, 2017 Excellence in Independent Professional Wrestling Award presented Thank by you. IndieWrestling.us? It's a mouthful. It's a mouthful. That's why oh. I put it, that's why we put it on the, doc, on the, uh, on the titles. Uh, but no, go check that out. You can uh, go vote right now over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. There's actually, we did record a special of uh, Mainstream Matt unveiling the the uh, nominees for that uh, award for excellence in independent, in independent wrestling brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Uh, we are contractually obligated to do that. Uh, you can vote for your favorite moment of the year, um, including when that time I booped the internet when I was drunk. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, when we carried the, the couch up to the new studio that these guys are sitting on right now. And uh, uh, Jackson Argo's taking over the Indie Mayhem show with his candidness. Lunchbox <coughs> being informed of what he's missed in the last year in wrestling because he doesn't watch anymore. And Doc Remedy is still alive. Co-host of the year. Uh, the uh, the Indie Mayhem show interview of the year. It, it was great going back and be like, holy shit, we interviewed a lot of people this year. Also, new category I want to share with you guys. Uh, we, we, we teased it a little bit for the longest time, but we're going to do a best dressed of the year. Right now in the running is Locked and Loaded, Calvin Couture, and Dylan Bostic. Uh, so go vote for that. And, of course, the 
2017 Award for Excellence in Independent Wrestling, uh, Professional Wrestling, brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Uh, a lot of stuff going on in IndieWrestling.us these days. Um, of course, uh, we we are rolling out. Uh, there's a new Premier Championship Wrestling out of Cleveland coming up. Uh, we just announced uh, we are going to be a part of Rise Wrestling this weekend, helping to provide uh, some video services that will be coming soon to IndieWrestling.us as well. Um, we've talked with a lot of them on Indie Mayhem Show, uh, including the promoter Brandon K. A uh, guy that's been around for a good long time in the in the uh, in the area. Uh, definitely ask BC Steel about his history because he knows all of it. So, uh, so that's something that's going to be a part of that. We're expanding. It's awesome to see some <coughs> new partners on there. And also, I'll give a shout out. We just uh, uh, did an interview with J Rock that will be rolling out here in the next couple of days, talking about the CKCW Eric Bischoff involved. I pay per view happening on Fight TV, and you can check out some of the titles from CKCW involving Mike, some Lucha Underground talent, some including Cortez Castro and uh, Taya Valkyrie, uh, as well Ooh. as some Impact Wrestling talent that Mike's going to be less mm. impressed with, including mm. <laughs> friend of the show Shane Taylor from Ring of Honor being involved right. as well. Uh, a great list of talent. A lot of guys you don't see in the area if you're familiar with Cleveland and Pittsburgh wrestling. So go check all that stuff out over at IndieWrestling.us. We'll be back with a big question and more shenanigans after this. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Still rocking with the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Sorgatron here on the mic, as well as Dave Fedor, comedian, referee, friends of Pittsburgh Luchadors. Represent, representing what's right. shirt, by the way. The ends of the Pittsburgh Luchador. There Good friend know. of mine. Good friend of mine. Go follow him on the Instagram and the, and the social medias as well. And go right. also check out the, uh, uh, what, what, what do they call you, series again? Uh, watch me eat my lunch. Watch me eat my lunch. Yeah. I want to get the right phrase. Ad- Adventures and Stories and Stuff channel on YouTube. Um, and then Yinzer Lucha on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, KSWA.net. Got All two stuff. shows coming up this month, 17th, 24th. The, spring, the, the sp- calendar for spring, KSWA yeah. is amazing. Yeah, we're going to have about 20 shows, even more probably this yeah, year. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, it's so, filling, filling so, up fast. And of course, you can see, I think most of those dates we do have listed on PittsburghWrestling.com. Awesome. So you can go see whatever wrestling is going on, including KSWA. That's right. Support local wrestling, man. Absolutely. Whatever it may be. Uh, of course, Larry's here. Hi. Hi. Uh, Riz is with us as well from Monroeville, PA. I never announced where you're from. You're Pittsburgh adjacent, so you know. Yeah, I'm close to Pittsburgh. I'm the, on the other side of the uh, Tubes. tunnel nobody likes to go through. Two tunnels and a, and a river. That means you get to stay home. Clean water. Yes. Well, with the clean water. Yes, with can. clean water. Yes, that's true. <laughs> yes, because you don't want to hear about our water problems here in Pittsburgh, uh, the rest of the internet. Like like the, the three people on the West Coast in the chat room don't care right now. <laughs> uh, also, I do on the side while I'm thinking of it, um, Alex Miller, I uh, want to give a shout out to you. Um, he, he said in the chat room that he's uh, coming to us from the hospital right now. So get well soon. I'm hoping we're bringing guys you a little bit of uh, hopefully mostly positive vibes tonight. Uh, so I hope everything's working out for you out there too. Um, and also a mad Mike with us. Mix Max challenge is getting weird, Sorg. <laughs> like a good weird or just because gold dust is on weird. Well, well, I don't have audio, so it's uh, like, it's almost like it's Naomi wrestling without and, context. And, I don't know. It's There's, weird. It, I think I no think spoiler. they were trying to prove who the better couple was. Hmm. There's no closed caption. When one of them is like legit married, and the other one just met like probably a week or so ago. That's weird. It's very weird. That's weird. And also, also with us, he's ready for mayhem mania. He's got the big board with us. He is mainstream Matt. Mixed match challenge is the best experiment in sexual tension ever in <laughs> professional wrestling. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So, so it's like every team is an episode of the X Files. Anyway, what? Nothing. <laughs> um, no, it's an episode of Moonlighting. Oh, that's good. Even better reference. Good job. Who's the boss? Even better. Um, <laughs> what is happening right now? Uh, we've got eight matches. That was the easy part. Now we enter the uh, the part of Mayhem Mania where, um, well, I should probably explain this to Dave. Dave, hi. Hi. Um, so, Mayhem Mania is kind of like um, a competitive thought experiment. Uh, what we're trying to do is create the best WrestleMania card possible within the bounds of the current reality. So 
you it's not really fantasy booking it's like reality booking because he can't use dean ambrose because he's got a busted arm he can't you know play or you can't use you know kenny omega because he's under contract with new japan but you can use but there is flexibility in gray areas here and there where if vince mcmahon could do it you could do it so basically uh you're vince mcmahon with um unlimited money and zero self-control and you're going to make the best WrestleMania card so, possible. So you're Vince so. McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh, okay. Yes, honest. you're yeah, right. Yeah, so you're you're Vince right. Very good. Very good. Um, so um, last week, we um, started by creating an eight-match card, mm-hmm. um, which I'll go through in a second. Um, oh. And um, this week will be the week where we start to make changes to the card. And you'll be able to, each of uh, five of our players here will have a chance to uh, swap out one wrestler for another or maybe add a wrestler or add a tag team to an existing match to make it, you know, a multi-person triple threat or four-way, something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, or you could just get rid of a match entirely or bring in a brand new match with previously, you know, w- with guys that are not on the card at the moment. So let's go through the card, Sorg, and All let's right. see if Dave Hold can on. figure Hold this out. Got All, right. All right. <laughs> All right. Here's the eight matches that were created last week. This is Actually, we did really well last week. Let's see here. Uh, Finn Balor versus Alistair Black. Mm-hmm. Good. Created by Bobby F. J. Town. Created by Bobby F. J. Town. Chris Jericho versus E3 EC3. Uh created by Mad Mike. Mm-hmm. Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn, created by Sorgatron, the Podfather. Went, yes, I went with the obvious. Um Charlotte versus Asuka versus Ronda Rousey, created by Missy. Uh Daniel Bryan versus Kurt Angle versus Drake Maverick versus William Regal, aka General Mania. Created by Larry. Time out. Time out. Time out. I, got, I got to call a timeout here. Mm. Is Daniel Bryan available to wrestle? Um, he's on the card. Is so William, yeah. Is yeah. William Regal. Listen to the product booker. Yeah. Listen <laughs> to the product booker. Now, now William, listen. Yeah, we, did, yeah. we described this. We, we talked. We, we went over <laughs> we this debate about, last week. We spoke about this at length on last week's episode of Talking Mayhem Mania. Um, but yes, the Chris, hottest your post talk show, the hottest the, the post hottest game show on the internet, show on the internet, um, <laughs> the show that makes Larry drop his stuff, he's dropping his stuff. <laughs> it's all it, it's now sorry, it's going down. Now, Riz, you are correct know. that we got so caught up in the Daniel Bryan debate, we completely forgot to address the William Regal debate, and he kind of slipped underneath the radar. But hey, you know what? Like I like to say here on Mayhem Mania, <clears throat> it's not my problem. It's not my job to fix it. It's your job to fix it. You don't like it. You fix it. You son of a... Anyway, (laughs) let's get back to the matches. Oh, I'm going to fix it, all right. Uh, Next up, we've got... uh, Yep, Fish and O'Reilly versus The Bar versus The Revival. Created by... The Rebar. Billy Johnson. uh, Billy Johnson. Billy Johnson in here. Good job, Billy. The Rebar. Get it right. The Rebar. (laughs) Um, Lars Sullivan versus Bobby Lashley. Uh, created oh. by Jay Cooper. Jay Cooper, that's right. Excellent by Jay Cooper. Oh, and the match I created: Roman Reigns and the Usos versus Seth Rollins and the Authors of Goddamn Pain. So, jeez, good card. Now, um, before we get into um the uh, this week's moves and uh, Mad Mike, you'll be going first, and Sorgatron, you'll be on deck. Um, I have a uh, I have a new element to uh, introduce this week. Sorg, would you mind uh, oh, holding yeah, up the yeah, envelope yeah. for everybody? Got this guy right here. All right. Now inside this envelope, <laughs> I didn't sealed. Read it. <laughs> no, it hasn't been. It's impossible because I have sealed. licked that bad boy shut. Yeah, it's open a little. Well, just lick it shut again. I'm not licking. I'm not relicking it. Well, That's fortunately, like, you are an honorable it, man, and like, everyone will believe it, that you it, did not. It. Sorg, it's okay. I. Only no, two of my kids we're, are sick. We're, we're, not, um, we're, not, we're not in the show until you lick that envelope. Um, so as I alluded to last week, um, the I, I had a, uh, an idea for a dream match. It was the first match that popped into my head when we started Mayhem Mania. Unfortunately, I couldn't create it last week because one of my guys was taken. Um, so what I've done is mm-hmm. I've written down that match on a piece of paper. I've sealed it in that envelope. And if anyone, and every week, we'll give you guys a chance to guess. If you guys, if the first person to correctly guess the I match that is in that envelope um, will get to uh, automatically graduate a match. You'll get a free eliminator, uh, which I'll explain to Dave. Um, so the eliminator is kind of a um, kind of a half reward, <coughs> half um, uh, a way to uh, kind of self-correct some of the... Um, wilder suggestions basically um if you get an eliminator you can declare any person any human being you want completely off limits 
from being used in Mayhem Mania for the entirety of this competition. Mm -hmm. So if you're like, I don't want anyone to use Jesus Christ in Mayhem Mania, <laughs> you could be like, I'm eliminating Jesus Christ because I don't want to see him versus Brock Lesnar. And then you could have that have that happen. So that's what right. that that's is. Oh, Fun, he, right? And, and that's assuming that Jesus right. Christ is within the realm of possibility yeah, for Jesus this. Christ is not in I don't think Vince could book him, but you know, uh, he, well, he did book himself against God, yeah, him, right? Yeah, God's true. in that play because he's God in the play. WWE right. universe. But if we've never seen Jesus Christ in a WWE ring before, but you never know. I mean, um, I mean to be fair, God no showed that match. He <laughs> did not no show. He was there. The spotlight. Anyway, no, um, forget no, it. No, he was um, not there. So the spotlight was there for him to appear, but he never did. Shawn right. Michaels never tagged him in. This is a different podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so I'm so okay, so if you get if you correctly guess what's in the mystery the envelope, point. you get to graduate a match. Um, if a match stays, if one of these eight matches stays on the card for three weeks without being changed in any way, it graduates. It locks into place. So we move it up to a super card. It opens up so an open slot. And we make a new match and we mess with that one instead. So last week was the first round. For last this? week was the first round. So we're going to see so if man, these matches can survive. Right. Wait, let me complete my thought. All right. So if you get the mystery envelope correct, the match in the mystery envelope, if you get that correct, you get to graduate a match, you get an eliminator, and you get to hand out a dose of punishment to anybody you want. Holy now you shit. see, we've wow. got this um, so, deal where we've got kind of like random, uh, like bowls of random names, or we'll have a we'll spin a wheel with like, you know, we would have one of the wheels last year, the wheel of women in NXT who will never beat Oscar, and it was just a wheel of every woman on the NXT roster who's a woman, and it came up with. I don't know, Billy Kay, and they had to use damn Billy Kay. Sorry, Bobby. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, it's it's a chance to get back at people. And as you see, as the changes go on during this thing, some people hold grudges and they, they want to punish each other. <laughs> because, so that's kind of a way to course. do that. Sure. Mm -hmm. This is true. When do so, we have to guess? Or I would say... Uh, is that like in turn, instead of I think you like, have, uh, making no, a No, 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 not, not well, instead. I just just uh, if you want to make a guess, and uh, I tell you what, just to make, just because I'm sporting, I will answer a single yes or no question before you make your guess. Okay. Okay? All right. And then, um, Riz, did you have a question? Do you answer my question? Oh, great. All right. So it's kind of like, gonna, um, I was gonna, I was gonna ask whatever that game, what's my line? About... So what's my match? <clears throat> What's your what? Nothing. It's okay. So you get one guess per round. Basically, yeah. Right. And um, okay. I've got an idea for everyone in the chat room who was coming up with ideas last week. We're going to have um, a viewer's choice um, thing going on. I'll explain it at the end of the round, though. Cause All right. So I can already tell that poor Dave is getting overwhelmed. <laughs> you all right over there? Yeah, I'm hanging in there. Okay. Oh, I just... Uh, this whole thing that is happening right now is going to pay off until like five weeks from now or something. Yeah. yeah. yeah this yeah, is yeah. going to run all the Just way like up until like live. All right. All right. Cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. So, this so this is the fourth year we've done this. Is yes. that right? Yeah. Yeah. If you want to see like how this has played out in the past, there's a, there's a long, uh, there's a history of it on wrestling mayhem show. An even longer yes. tutorial for you. Oh to yeah, watch yeah, yeah. 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 Oh yeah. So, I mean, this is like the rules have been yeah. made as we go along and, you know, we've had very special guests on uh, that give give picks and everything like that. Like, I think we have a post for every round, right? Yeah, we have had a post for just about every round. So just drop, it, just just type Mayhem Mania into, I mean, and and you'll you'll get an idea. Nice. All right, well, let's get let's started. See, we've come with some crazy things, so well, we've hmm. come with some awesome it's matches. A little crazy at the end of the night. Things get crazy. Yeah, yeah. let's get down to business. That's, uh, why, that's why we do this last on the show. That's right. what that way it's less for Sorg to produce, less content for Sorg to worry about. Yes. All right, Mad Mike, you're up. You get to make um, a single move, and uh, you can interrogate me about the envelope if you want to. Also. Okay. Um, well, first I'll do the interrogation because I, I think I have an idea. Uh, Matt, is this a singles match? Yes. Okay. Uh, my guess is Finn Balor versus Ricochet. No. Mm. Damn. Make a move. Mm. Oh, okay. Damn it. Okay. Well, he was so uh, confident. I, well, I thought, I thought we have to change it in order for it to work. No, no, no. I was no, just all guessing, you're trying to do. All match. he's trying to do is guess the uh, match that's in the envelope. Now we can make it okay. uh, change yeah. the card. Yeah. No. Um. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna make my move. Uh. So that that whole general manager. Mishigash, you oh, guys got there with Daniel Bryan. Oh, no. Please kill it. With Daniel please Bryan, who can't wrestle. Larry Kurt spent all day Andrew working on that. barely wrestle. Exactly. William Regal, who I don't really want to see wrestle. And Drake Maverick, 
who I'd like to see wrestle, but not against these people. Uh, that match is gone. Oh, Delete. no. Son it's Gonzo. Boo. Delete it. Gonzo like the hook nose Muppet, bitches. You just declared what? war. Get it? Gonzo. <laughs> what? Gonzo. Um, in its place, in its place, ladies and gentlemen, I have concocted a match from my brain. I said I was tipping my hand a little bit, but I'm going to book Rick O'Shea. Ah, oh, the Irish wrestler. Name Nathan Pending <laughs> versus the bruiser weight Pete mm. Dunn. Now, That's O'Shea, the match I want to say. Now, does O'Shea have the top? Does, does O'Shea have the uh, leprechaun hat? <laughs> no, I'm not going to kill Garza. Is like Hornswoggle that. Only, going to be in Rick O'Shea's the, corner? No, no, it's only the second week. I'm not going to kill Garza. <laughs> I'm not going to kill didn't Garza we, right off the bat. Didn't we have Luke Harper in a suit once? Yeah, was, we, no, had, we had a lot of guys in a suit. I think there's a reason that the graphics are the way they are, so we don't uh, try to put people in suits. <laughs> well, we can give them fancy hat and glasses. So exactly. I could give I could give one of them an eye patch. That's true. That's true. All yeah, right. You know what? Ricochet with an eye patch. No, 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 not no, happening. No, 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 no. How about I'm Ricochet with that. a uh, with a luch- luchador mask? Up, uh, been done. Uh, um, Sorgatron, you're <laughs> up. Larry, you're on deck. All right. I'll, I'll, right, right off the bat, I want to tell you. You know who's um going to the go away is uh is uh the former Red Dragon. Ooh. Oh, hey, do you want to ask me a wow. question about the envelope? Uh, I No, no, no. I, okay. I'm more interested in my spite right now. Okay, um, let's do spite. No, no, no. <laughs> wow, we're spiteful. So, today, so we're we kicking sure? out the Red Dragon? And we're kicking out the Red Dragon, uh, uh, Bobby Fish and, and O'Reilly. Um, and we're going to throw in there. Let's keep it a three-way, I think. Yes, let's. We could have a better match if we... Ah, oh, the Usos are already taken, aren't they? They are. Because, God, that would be so much fun. We could have switched. No, because no, then I have to keep Red Dragon. Them off the and card. also, like, like, <laughs> like Roman Reigns and Red <laughs> Dragon would just make down. me sad. Uh, let's, hey, it's not your mess to clean dragons. up, Sorg. <laughs> <laughs> Do whatever it takes to make the match you want and just let everyone else clean That's it exactly up. right. So let's see. Re, uh, we got the bar. We got the revival. And we're going to have... Mm-mm. Let's just throw Benjamin and uh, Gable in there. Because, I mean, it's going to be a good match. Okay. Mm-hmm. Either way. All right. I'm sorry I messed with our, our naming conventions on this graphic, too. American beta. I'm counting on Garza <laughs> to come up with something. Yeah, I'm sure. He's he's pretty pretty creative guy. And uh, my guess, my guess for your match. Do you want to ask me a yes or no question first? Well, I want to ask you, what was it? you asked if it was a singles match? Yeah, I did. It, it is. It is, a, it is definitely a singles match. <laughs> I Jeez. Is it a women's match? No. Okay. Good question, okay. Larry. Good question, but wrong. All right. <laughs> that was a very good question. Uh, Larry, you're up, and Riz is on deck. All right. My yes. prediction for your dream match is... No question? Oh. Um, does one of the wrestlers have an alter ego? Define alter ego. Second gimmick. No, I think I, okay. I, I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay. Okay. Um, well, wait your turn. All right, Larry. Can I, can I see the board? Yep. Sorry. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go with uh, Valor and Woken Matt Hardy oh. for your dream match. No. Okay. Hmm. Um, Sorry, did you did you ever guess an actual? I did not match? guess. I you did want not to guess, guess an actual no. match. Um, I'm going to go do, 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 Balor and Nakamura. No. What, what was the thinking on that? <laughs> Take a try. <laughs> With the right yeah. one. <laughs> huh. Huh. That would give you any bad intel. Okay. Um, um. So I'm going to since someone took my match from last week. Oh, he's not on the mm. screen. Um. I don't know who I'm looking at. No, you're on the screen because you're talking. Like I know. I was, I was hoping Mike was going to be on there. Um, I'm going to get rid of Jericho and EC3. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh. Okay. 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 All right. And, all right. J- and I, this, I knew this, that was coming. This I is strictly personal. So it's, it's, <laughs> it, this isn't a better match or anything. I'm going to replace <laughs> it with Michael Cole versus the coach. Oh, what the hell? What a hate pick. 
Oh, oh, get rid of my general manager oh, match, no, will ya? No, no. Oh, what a hate no, pick. See, my dream match Very. was actually good. You if sure you got replaced it with something halfway decent. I wouldn't. I had something it. halfway decent last week, and you threw it away. No, you threw something a quarter of the way decent. Uh, Dave, <laughs> Dave. So here's kind of what's happening. Yeah, he killed his decent. match. Sure, sure. How many rounds are we going All today? Right. Just one? Oh, just one. Oh, just one. Right. Sick. oh my goodness. It would have been fun if I would have told you like five sick. or six. Chris, huh? Chris, right. you yeah, have yeah. the power. Just one round a week. It, it takes like 45 minutes to get through the these things. That's right. That's right. We're not that podcast. Okay. No. <laughs> I wouldn't be so, on that podcast, though. No. Talk about it. Hey, um, hey Dave, hey, um, do you want to ask? What? Riz? Oh, yeah. You're this up, aren't turn. you? Oh, I was yes. right over the Riz. Sorry, Dave. You're on deck. I didn't mean to. He has a question for you. the gun. Go ahead. All right, Riz, what you got? The the question about the prediction is is one of the is is one of the guys that's in your dream match now off the card. That's a weird question. Rephrase. I think he wants like were they? Well, on no, we, they we've are... had we've had two matches canceled. So, oh, yeah. you want to know have, have has been... has has one of the persons in my match been taken off the card during this round yes no fuck all right <laughs> <laughs> that was a good question that was okay good. you still want to so, guess <clears throat> no because i was going to go with uh nah i'm good go okay. with a guess right now great make a move uh, let's see let's <laughs> see well i'm gonna take out lars sullivan versus lashley mm. oh Okay. Delete it. There goes the Haas match. Oh. And I'm actually going to put back in EC3. Okay. Against, and this is this is some this is probably the last time I remember watching TNA good. Uh, when he won the, the TNA title, I remember him having this uh, backstage segment after the match, and. One of the things that stood out was he called out Triple H. Oh, well then. So I want EC3 versus Triple H. All right. Crack Drake Maverick, you Ooh. mean? No, I don't want EC3. Oh, I'm Drake sorry. Drake Maverick will be in his corner. Maybe. Oh, I was misreading. <laughs> no, was I did not say that. Ooh. That was Ooh. not EC3 and Triple H. H. Yes. So you really want EC3 yeah. to lose his first WrestleMania yeah. match? <laughs> Thanks, Riz. I like You're it. Welcome. You like it. I think that's an upgrade from Jericho EC3. Ooh, I don't that's, know about I was, that. I was wow, hoping harsh that words. Was, it's hot. Harsh Actually, words. Was, hot. It's got I heat. was hoping that was your dream match, by the way. Oh, really? Just just playing it out there. Ah, that'd been fun. Um, Dave, is this making any sense to you? So, am I allowed to eliminate something that has been changed tonight? Like, a yeah. Few ago? Okay. That'd yes. actually be great because then <laughs> yes. I can but explain the Alex Stars rule. <laughs> explain the Alex Cars rule. I'm not explaining until he actually does it. I'm taking this on a on a case by case basis. Okay. I don't explain the All rules right. until I get to him. That's more fun that way, don't you think, Sorg? Unless you're a certain wrestling profession. Like all of them? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> a lot of them do that. Do you way. want to ask me a yes or no question um, about the envelope? Is, is your is any of the opponents in your dream match a current WWE champion? Ooh. No, not. Ooh. Mm. Finn Balor, Chris Jericho. Nope. Okay. That's a good one, too, though. Um, All right. So as much as I would love to see a battle of announcers... No. Nobody does. Nobody does. Nobody I would I would have picked <laughs> Booker T and Corey Graves. <laughs> This is true. I Fair. would not have picked Michael Cole and Coach, so that one has been taking off. Well, right now, I don't. You can't pick Corey Graves though, because Corey Graves is he has concussions. So, no so is Daniel Graves Bryan, but you had him in there last he, week. Daniel the, Bryan, he, speculative. He's in a no touch list. And also, well, William Regal does have n- really bad neck surgery. Oh, does he? It's a yes, four way so match. He barely has to do everything. Match, <laughs> All right, so Michael Cole and Coach are gone, regardless. Yeah. Dave and hey, quit, quit bickering. All right, Dave, come on. And the women have been criminally underrepresented here in this card. I so definitely. I'm going to add 
a tag team match with best friends Bailey and Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax and Alexa Bliss. All right. I like it. That's good. I like it. Good. Good job. Good one. <laughs> What's that, Alexa? <laughs> she said she said thanks so much. <laughs> Get these hands. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see what we got here after the first round of changes here. Good job, Dave. Hey, thanks. Thanks for taking that stride. And what what was the Alex Carr rule? Oh yeah, yeah. Good point. All right, the Alex Carr's rule is basically a um, uh, kind of like an insurance for someone where if you're if the match you try to create doesn't survive to the end of the round, um, you're automatically allowed to come back. The next week, you're guaranteed a chance, a move the following week. There you go. You're welcome. And you get to go last so that your move won't be. um, It'll survive. It'll it'll definitely survive. Do we give them anything else? I think that's it. I'm going to have to check the rules to see if that. Yeah, I think that's it. It would seem excessive if we reward them for getting their move. What? Ooh. I, I just found out that. I just found out that Jason Jordan. Had his neck. Uh, it was it was surgery. a minor. It was a very surgery. minor. Surgery. You know what? I'll address the Jason Jordan situation on Talking Mayhem Mania <laughs> coming up on most of these Sorgatron media stations. Let's go over the cards, Sorg. I can tell you when to leave. Um, here's what we got. <laughs> Such a my tease. Guest, my guest so- this week on Talking Mayhem Mania is going to be Larry. Oh. We're going to talk about hurt feelings and karma. All right. So, <laughs> right? You're you're gonna be on your book now. Sorry. Right. No, now I, you're booked. I want my that's, I want my it. usual rate. All right, you got it. You're gonna get you're gonna get what you always get. All right. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here are the matches right now. Finn Balor versus Alistair Black. Bailey and Sasha Banks versus Alexa Bliss and Nia Jax. Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn. Asuka versus Charlotte versus Ronda Rousey. Rick O'Shea versus Pete Dunne. <laughs> The Bar versus uh, Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin versus The Revival. EC3 versus Triple H. <laughs> and Roman Reigns and The Usos versus Seth Rollins and The Authors of Pain. I think we're moving in the right direction. <laughs> I would watch that last, pay-per-view. Last year, it That's took right. us like six or seven weeks to come up before the card actually looked like something we would want to actually consume with our eyeballs. But uh, we're year, off to a great last start. Year, we did basically predict the match. We've done, Yeah, we have done we, that before. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll explain that to Dave off the air. <laughs> Haven't we done enough? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have. That was a pretty quick answer, Sorg. What? Nothing. I don't know. Thanks, Sorg. Sorg is oh, wait, wait. Right tell me this. Well, yes. Next week. All right. We're going to introduce something new. Not just the envelope. Not just that bullshit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because everyone in the chat room has been chi- are chiming in and, and they all want to get their stuff in. Everyone within the sound of my voice chat room anywhere else send your moves using using this card send your moves to mayhem mania at wrestling mayhem and we'll select at least one of them guaranteed and use it next week during the next week's round Ooh. send your move that's like a that's like a briefcase you could cash in yeah let your voice be heard let your mayhem voice be mayhem. heard if we get multiple ones we might Pick it at random. Pull it out of the fishbowl. There's also Patreon in the bank uh, later in the season, <laughs> which is like a briefcase. Oh yeah, cash in. <laughs> just the people. Me. I got I got up my Patreon again. Yeah, it's time to sign I up got, for Patreon. Yeah. Or people Patreon. people part of the show join Patreon and pay the show money that they're on, so they can have an extra say that you, that we. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I should remind everyone, Sorg, that longer tenured Patreon supporters get preferential treatment in Patreon in the bank. So don't wait till the last minute. <laughs> Mike. Get in that. I'm totally na- fine with going last in Patreon in the bank. <laughs> get on that horse now. Or first. Doesn't matter to me. <clears throat> because I have a stipulation that has never been used in Mayhem Mania before. Dun, dun, oh, yeah. Dun. Yes, that's a tease. That's a tease for two months from now. Is it weapons of mass destruction? Nope. We used oh, wait, we did we use that. that. <laughs> Actually, yeah. That's right, because we had the Lucha Underground guy on. Yeah, yeah. Bottom line, chat room, everyone else listening, send your move to Mayhem Mania at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, and we're going to use at least one of them next week. 
Excellent. Be awesome. Well, on that note, and, and check out everything and look up the uh, Talking Mayhem Mania that will be on most of these channels. Oh, well, man. Tina's sending her move now. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yes! Yeah, Tina. Step your game up. I love it. Um. Anyways, uh, this is, geez. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm reading Dave Sorg. Does, that does sound like podcast economics. One, spend money. Two, give away product. Three, profit. <laughs> 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 um. Anyways, uh, what did you guys learn from professional wrestling this week? I'll go first. <laughs> I learned that even goddesses can catch these hands. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Larry? Uh, similarly, I learned that uh, Alexa Bliss is not scared to go to Suplex City. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Calling out Brock Lesnar on Raw. Yeah, I want to book that. Alexa versus Brock. <laughs> uh, what about you, uh, uh, Matt? Uh, on, on a similar vein, I learned that Contrary to what I thought to be true, Braun Strowman is kind of cute. Hmm. I didn't know. You know. Certain you didn't know that? Certain you type. need to see his Tinder profile. <laughs> what about you, Riz? Mm. Come back to me, Sork. Riz just Dave, what did you learn oh, from me? man, I was just going to cheat and look up. I believe this is the transitive property, but I'm not 100% sure. If Sasha Banks can beat Asuka... And Bailey could beat Sasha Banks, then Bailey can beat Oscar. That's what I learned on. That's correct. Raw yesterday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. correct. Wrestling math, obviously. Mm-hmm. But you is. Right. Yes. I learned that uh, Kurt Angle treats Jason Jordan like uh, an actual father would, telling him to get out and get to his room. <laughs> Pretty much. He sent him to his room. <laughs> Go home. Like getting get in the car and stay there until I come back in the car and yell at you again. Mm-hmm. That was more of a that's actually more of a Yinzer father than anything. Uh, but yeah, that's I was worried for Jason, Jason Jordan. Jordan. He needs to see Jason Jordan's middle name though. <laughs> like he needs Sorry. to go, Jason Jeffrey Jordan. Wow. You get your ass to that locker room. Triple J. Triple J. <laughs> Triple J. <laughs> I don't, know if it's I don't know if it's Jeffrey, but it should be Jeffrey now. I learned I learned that J Rock has been in the business so long that the last time he was at backstage at a WWE, they paid him in cash. Mm. That's what I learned. I learned that today in his oh. interview, actually. So that that kind of says something there. So <laughs> from the chat, I mean I, I mean, I remember him from 2006. Yeah, yeah, me too. He was like on the first show I ever went to in 2006. So. <laughs> Uh, Alex learned that everyone is going to hate uh, Elimination Chamber just because of the uh, of the winner of that match. Probably the, the true. Winner, the winner? No, the winner. I, did, I read that wrong. The winner? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, my eyes were playing no, tricks it's on the me. the internet. Don't hate Ed, Ed Burke says, uh, I learned that there's a wrestler in Mississippi named Zombie Dragon, and, and his new existence gives me joy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, also, he lets us know that he's going to be coming in with more fresh ice cream like last year's Mania, so oh, get in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, Shit. <laughs> I, know ice cream. I know. What, what, what you got, Mike? Step it up. Brandon learned that the Miz could become a double champion with his new contract. Hmm. I also learned that he <laughs> insists, in, intends to be a double champion because his daughter will be born just in time for it. Yeah, that was pretty. That's, that's motivation. Though. That is some good motivation. If it works for you, Heath Slater, you it can know work with that's going to be part of like the WWE 24 for this year's WrestleMania. I hope so. I I, I need still. He's going to be coming like straight from the hospital in his gear to Mania. Well, according to according to the the Total Divas or the uh, yeah the Total Divas promo, it was her due date is two days before. Jeez. So it's literally going to be close. Oh jeez. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god, imagine if the business daughter was born on my birthday, which is also WrestleMania. Can, what if? Can you imagine the awesome. heat he's going to get when he misses the birth of his child to win a match? <laughs> or, to, or to lose. Or to Man. lose a match. Man, set, setting up an angle for when she turns 18 is great. Um, <laughs> or how about, this? how about this? During his WrestleMania match, we have a live feed of the camera on the Titantron so he can watch <laughs> the birth of his child 
at the same time that he's wrestling. And or he has he has a little pager on his wrestling tights that he always oh checks during the match. Oh, thank you, because that's where I was going. That is yeah, he's got him beat, and the pager goes off, and he just runs up the ramp. And he's like, <laughs> I gotta go. Father of the year <laughs> gets counted out. Bobby on the opponent. Bobby F. J. Town. Can't you teleport me there? <laughs> Bobby of J-Town uh, learned that uh, he wants to see Don Castle versus Punishment Martinez. Um, and Brandon learned that The Miz could become a double... Tr- no, I read that part already. I'm, I'm going back. I'm, I'm seeing double. It's time to end the show. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, guest Dave Fedor. Hey, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Where can people find you online or, um, I guess, sometimes on Saturday nights? <laughs> uh, at DS fedor on twitter and instagram and facebook uh check out kswa the keystone state wrestling alliance uh my friend yinzer or yinza is at yinzer lucha on all social media awesome youtubes all the stuff please and of course larry is uh hashtag earthquake on your favorite social media. <laughs> you, you 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 can even you, you can email me at I hate Sorg at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. <laughs> at Girthquake at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. <laughs> answer all your questions at Girthquake at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. <laughs> Mad Mike, 4883 on the mind. Twitter, hashtag MM. He does a lot of reviews of, of uh, the uh, wrestling shows on I, the I do. Show. Sorg, you just took everything I was going to say. Just tweet me. Tweet me about wrestling. And then I'll answer. Riz does very similar with Chikara shows as they've been happening lately. I do. Yes. Uh, they just had one this past week. Um, it was pretty damn good. Nice. Nice. I have to be, I have to be, I have to be nice, so I have to tone my, uh, tone my language down so it's kid friendly. So it's Chikara like friendly. Chikara. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And of course, mainstream Matt, proprietor of the Mayhem Manias. Thanks, Sorg. Thanks everybody for playing. There you go. Go go watch uh, uh, KDK in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Four a.m. tomorrow morning. Four a.m. Join him. We'll set my clock. Yes. There you go. Set your DVRs. Thank you, producer M- Missy. Yes, she is listed in the co-host of the year as well, and she has had a strong running so far. So, so what you're saying is that all of our fans remember me when you don't. Uh, oh. oh. I, I was going to say, sorry, wow. you, I was prepared to cough, producer Missy, if you forgot to thank her again. <laughs> thank you, Dad, Mike. I was prepared. Uh, check out everything. I Thank had, you, everybody. I had a cough building up. I hit the cough button. Joyce, <laughs> join us in the chat room here at 9 p.m. on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook. Go follow all the things at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We'll see you next time. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.